Hello everyone, this is Cowboy2011. Today, I'm actually going to show you what they changed with Kotal Khan in this recent patch. Let's get started with Kotal Khan and his changes. The first change, as you can see in the top of my health bar, I got a... Well, Kotal Khan has a hundred more health than the default. He actually has the most health in the game now, followed by Shao Kahn being... 1050. He has the most health. That is amazing. The second thing you that has really changed is his parry is four frames faster. That is really, really, really good. And he has a recovery of one recovers one frame faster whenever he puts it back. Oops, sorry. <laughs> um, whenever he actually parries something, it actually counts as a flawless block. So he can actually block in time. That is awesome, because if we go to the AI... I can block after parrying the first hit. If I just do that. I actually... you couldn't... you weren't able to do this, you are actually getting punished before. Because uh, you're not recovering in time. Which is awesome that they changed that. That is actually one thing I hated. Can you parry two projectiles? No. You can't. I've tried. You can't. He can't get it out in time after... I can't do that fast enough. Whenever there's two projectiles. They have to be really slow projectiles, so maybe against Devora, perhaps. But against someone like Sonia Blade or Baraka, you can parry one, but you have to block the next one still. If it was about three frames faster, like seven frames, just like an MKX, you could probably parry any projectile coming at you, even if it's meter burned. So we go on to I am in the wrong variation. Let's go to his Totemic. Totemic was actually the variation they changed a lot of, which is actually really really good because he needed it okay his jaguar has been changed as you can see we are now m minus 12 on block and that's just regular that's not meter burn that's not anything like that that is regular i can block a lot sooner than just coming up the animation's faster so i get a block Meter burn, it becomes negative 8. And it's still... I'm able to block. It starts up faster. It says the regular one starts up at 2 frames faster, so now it's 17, as you can see. 17 startups, you know. That's amazing. On miss, the recovery is 51, down from 90. Or something crazy like that. It's overall a better move, and this actually helps them in zoning matches, which I've been using this variation a lot now, because I can just do that to get in, and if they're not fast enough, they can't, I can actually block in time. Then after that, punish a grab, or go into an actual string. You know what I mean? Second one is his air one got changed. It is now negative 17 and 11 amplified on block. Oops, did not jump. So... That's a good. I don't remember what it was. I couldn't tell you off the top of my head. Um. Yeah, I could not tell you. Three, three frames faster. So this one was three frames faster now. So it used to be 20, 20, negative 20 on block before, and then meter burn is eight. So it used to be negative 19, and now it's negative 11. That is amazing. This variation became a lot more useful, and I hope to see it more. Especially with something like that, if you know they're going to block in your... Or something. Oops. God. You know, where it forces them to block. And... If it... A top hit... Well, I guess it has to be on hit. But they changed it where it actually combos a lot better now. And it doesn't actually say that. I'm getting a lot more combos that uh, are doing it. Next universal change is this one. 
as you can see before, whenever you did that, and if you got poked out of it, you actually just got like a, whoops. If someone poked you, you actually uh, stood back up. So you do that, and if they poked you, you got a reaction like you were standing up. So before, if Devor poked me out of it, it literally looked like that. You'd get hit, he'd be back on his feet, he'd just land on his feet from a- oh, wow, I'm not him. He'd actually just land on his feet even though he's considered in the air, but they have changed that. So if we go to... I need to control her. So two... Record... So now if I poke out of that... If I can poke out of it. If I can poke out of it. Can I poke out of it? Anyway, he's considered in the air. What the hell? Okay. Okay, am I not? I am not poking right, or she does not have a fast poke. <laughs> there, he's in the air. But you can still do that, so... Yeah. So anyway, that he's in the air, it means he's not... Oh, wow. <laughs> still going at me, are you? So, the point that he's in the air... Because if you used to punish him like I just did with Devora Or Kotal Khan even, you get this if you were to do it right. Oof. I'm in the wrong variation, but yeah, into in uh, the other one, you can just go into a full combo, and that's how people usually do it. Now that he's in the air, they have to actually change the combo, and it might help him get to the floor faster, not taking a full combo punish as if he was just standing there. So, overall, good. Um, The hammer jump, so this one... And this one, they just said it uh, adjusted their frame, so I didn't really have a problem with this before. I couldn't tell you what they changed, they just said they did their cancel frames a little bit better. So perhaps it's not doing it automatically. Like I said, I didn't notice anything with that. Now, you have probably the biggest change to him right now. This is down three. This is a big change, and I will tell you why. Before, like, his standing one, you have to be picked like that. It actually gels. But it has to be so, so frames, because he's only plus 10 and you're doing an 8 frame normal. You know what I mean? You actually have to do it perfectly. Because, like I said, hit advantage is 10. You have eight frames, right? His down three now is is uh, hit advantage is 13. So what that means is you can jail easier. So, as you can see. Well, if I can get standing two out, I can show you. There. She is not, even though, like you can see, it's a high. If they get hit by this, it's still your turn, and you can go into the offensive thing. She cannot duck it. They have to block if they get hit by this. If they get hit by their down three. Because on block, I don't think it's that great. Yeah, it's negative six, so it's their turn. So you have to block if they do it. But if they're mashing, and you hit a down three, you can just go straight into your one-two. Or even your uh, forward uh, forward one two two. So as you can see, they sh should be able to duck this since that that's hitting. Well, it gels. So if you get a hit, they have to block, or else they're getting punished. And that in turn makes ascension really scary. When you think about it, it makes it pretty scary. Because they get hit by that. You're not ducking, Devora. I didn't say you could stand. You have to duck. So now, if they don't want to get hit by this, 
you hit them like that with once they're like okay I get it I'm going to have to block after this move I got you so if we put her to auto now after she gets hit okay all right Devora. after you get hit they have to block just like that because if I hit her like that she can still duck it right but if she hits hit it gels so this is where a tick throw comes in you're like oh shit oh shit this isn't good I have to stop getting hit by this down kick you know what I mean so they have to start blocking So now they're thinking, hmm, I know what I can do. I can wait for this, his standing one, to hit after I block it, and then I can jump. In theory. But now you can go... But now... This helps this variation a lot just with this one change. Because you actually somehow get a mix-up now, being this. And if you're not sure about it, just complete the screen, and you're just minus six. You're technically safe, it's just their turn, and... Well, it has a hidden advantage. Oh, it's minus six on block. So, yes. Awesome. Amazing. Things. Um, this one recovers one frame faster. So it lets you go on the offensive a little bit faster, not thing usual. What I failed to show you in Totemic was on hit now. The Jaguar on hit recovers so much faster. No, the Jaguar. There we go, total. He just runs back and changes. Whoop! And, but they still stay down for that amount of time. So you can actually get up close. You can get at least one dash before they get up. So if I put her to a wake up, a wake up, a get up attack, I'm sorry. Uh, is it swarm burst? Yeah, okay. So now I should get one dash off. Okay, let's try the other one. Come on, Devora, you're. Yeah, I guess it's just that. So. I can block. I got one dash. I am in now. I blocked her attack. It's my turn. But there's also other uses. If you keep doing that, you could do something like this now after it. I just got a blood totem out. It, and you can see the time. Well, let's. First of all, let's uh, make her stop doing that. I'm about halfway done, so hopefully they don't go like into a dash because that move is just recovers 58. You know what I mean? So I can at least get one off, then go on the offensive. Or if they think I'm going to do that, I can do it unblockable. If they if they want to dash, because they're in range, as you can see. Since they're in range, uh. He can get another that. If they're gonna jump, he's got a this now. Well, he's always had that, but since you're recovering faster, if they don't want you to get that off, you can go into this attack. So, yeah, overall, he's better. Is he still low tier? I think he kind of is. I think he's still low tier, but with all the changes, they brought the lower tier up. To brought him uh, closer to mid tier, and they toned down the top tier and brought them closer to mid tier. So overall, I think it's good. This is actually one of the coolest things now since he's a... Uh, this variation hopefully gets used more. So, yeah. That's pretty much it. The biggest improvement, like I said before, was his uh, down three. That's the biggest thing now. So if they get hit by a poke, since people just love mashing this damn button now, if you get... You know what I mean? Gel them, get them in a combo, make them regret pushing a button.
because that's actually exactly how it goes. They're gonna keep mashing poke. I can you can consistently gel because if it's not gelling, it wouldn't hit, right? She would duck in time, but since it's gelling, it's all hitting. So, yeah, pretty cool stuff, if you ask me. Really good for Kotal. It's going to help him out in the poking game, because that's actually one thing that was hard, was this. Which, technically, it can happen. Right there. But it's so... It's like frame perfect, I feel. Yeah, I have to actually look at his fist. I'm actually looking at his left hand. If you look, you see where it goes behind him? As soon as I see it behind him, I can do it. Nope, missed it. As soon as I see it, I'm trying to get a stand one out. And it's so hard, but this right here... Oh my god. It's so much easier to gel. Why the hell? Well... So, yeah, overall... He's better. He is a lot better. Wow, I don't know why that is happening. And uh, I'll be playing a lot more Totemic against batchups and just playing it in general. Overall, they didn't really change them outside of that. So, it's awesome. It's cool. I can't wait to play some games with them. And I probably will record something right after this, so... Anyway, guys, this is Cowboy2011, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Thanks for watching the video all the way through. If you liked what you saw, click that like button and the sub button if you aren't subscribed. You know that would always be a help. Anything would always be a help. And here are some more videos for you guys to watch if you want to watch them. So, um, thanks again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace!